As small as we are, we are fighting against this very big Christian movement in Uganda. And it has been very difficult for us to undo the damage because they said we are recruiting young children and then promoting homosexuality. I'm simply saying, look, I'm here. Mm. Include me in the national HIV AIDS policies, in the national health policies, mm. in programs of the government. Stop expelling us from schools. Stop beating us. The law has value for those who are in the business of violating people's human rights. The debate around this matter just sparked off unprecedented uh, hatred. Part of that strategy was to, to depict people as rapists, people who uh, deliberately spread HIV, to equate LGBT members as the pedophiles, you know, all that was the deliberate, you know, propaganda intended to prepare the population for, for the bill. Discrimination, homophobia, was made lawful, uh, both by the statements of our leaders, uh, but also by the actions of the Ugandan media. I had been out in the red paper, and I was on the cover page, and the headline was, Top gays speak out how I became a homosexual. What would happen if, if we are thrown into prisons? What will happen to the voice of the LGBTI people who speak out for the rights of the LGBTI people? When Bahati tabled the law on October 2009, we had four people came together and uh, we issued the first statement. So whoever signed into that first statement became members of the coalition. Eventually, we built a coalition that was made up of 50 different organizations. Yeah.